This is John with hookahjohn.com. Hey everybody, how's it going? This is John with hookahjohn.com coming in with yet another video, but we're gonna go over something that's already been tried and true in the last few months. They're going to be the decanter bases by Hookah John. I'm gonna show you that right now. I gotta get up, I gotta do this one-handed because you guys are pretty busy right now. I'm using one on that DSH Mini right there. So let's go ahead and take a look at these. If this video doesn't come out good, sorry. What are we gonna do? What are we going to do? Jeez, I should have somebody do this for me. I shouldn't have to do this myself. I shouldn't, but I'm going to. Now, you're familiar with the HJ. This is the, God, I've almost forgotten the name, the Checkmate Base Series, which is great on a hookah like a Regal. There you go, check that out. Fits it perfectly. The down stem on the Regal is pretty, I, I don't know if it's long, but down. this is a mini Regal, which is a Prince. Usually the Queen is this higher and then the King is even higher. So those are great. Great quality bases, right? They match a Regal perfectly. But say you've been getting into the Russian style lately, and these are kind of like too much work. Russian bases are really simple, but here's a Faro, which looks really great. Okay, it really does look great on this particular Faro and this base. But if you notice right in there, the down stem isn't super deep. You'd have to bring your water level to about here, or maybe here, which is just a little bit more than I'd like to do. I'd rather have, you know, my water level right there, a nice level part of the base. So what we did was, um, after traveling to Russia and Germany and seeing what they had to offer, and the Russians just doing a great um, job with bringing in their hookahs, um, but they were using a lot of generic glass. Some of them were from Poland, which are pretty good quality. Some of them are from China, which is like, yeah, it's a base and it does the job. The quality of your base is not going to make a better uh, smoke for you, but you're getting this hookah, right? So you want to get it. Let's say you want to get uh, a matte pear, right? Matte pear is great too, but would you put it on a cheap Chinese base? I mean, this is good Russian quality uh, hookahs here. So what did we do here? The down stems on both of these. Uh, actually, the matte pear looks to be a little bit longer. You can make the the ferro hookah a little bit longer in its down stem by doing that but i don't know if it goes over more so that's actually the great thing about a ferro it doesn't go much longer but anyways there you go so what we did was get a shape so this is called the decanter one now i didn't check all the grommets on these before i put them on but but german hookahs and the grommets that go on the decanter bases they fit almost perfectly every time that could still go another i don't know Three eighths of an inch down to make it flat. I'm not going to do that right now. Um, I don't want to work with it that hard. But check out the base. Check out the clarity on these bases. Now, why did I bring up the Checkmate before? The decanter bases are made from the same people. It's just the same factory. It's just awesome Checkmate uh, glasswork. And when people say glass doesn't matter, it kind of does. I mean, get one of those cheapy Chinese bases and you're just doing a disservice to your hookah but look how clean that is now going back to regal let's say regal will fit in this but it'll be really tight because the down stem on the regal is pretty long compared to a russian style uh hookah it's just got that extra you know inches matter when it comes to this stuff inches matter so now you've got your Regal on this, which looks pretty great. The down stem's a little deeper, but not a big deal. So if you're gonna get, if you wanna put one of these on a Regal, use the decanter one. This is the decanter one. We came up with the name, because it looks like a wine decanter. You guys know I'm a big wine guy. And um, so I wanted to get that, that's why we call it the decanter base. So sometimes it's referred to as just decanter, but we had to make it one because there is a two. And this two is German inspired. And let's see if we can get a better angle on this here. There is 
a height difference and it's pretty significant. It's hard to tell from here in this picture, but I think we have it on the side. It's about an inch and a half difference. What does that do for you? All right. You could put a regal in this one. <coughs> Boom. You're, you're not even getting in there. See that space right there? That's about a grommet. We're hitting the bottom. No bueno. <coughs> do not put a regal on a decanter two. Feel free to put a regal on a decanter one. The decanter two, I, not only do I like the shape, I really like the way that it came out with on Russian hookahs. Look at this. That's a little bit low, but I like it that way. I like it low in there with your uh, Gorgona pan, but if you don't, your water level will be right about here, which is just perfect. A lot of other hookahs, I get the water level up here, which still works great. Water levels and shape do make a difference, but do they? If you want more space, there's your Gorgona. God, and I don't have a DSH. Maybe someone can pull one up for me. My DSH is in use, and DSH just match with these perfect. You know what? I'm going to pause this and get a DSH. All right, so we're back here. Try to get my face in the picture. Now, here's a DSH. Get out of the way. Mini Puka, which is not too many, but that's we had another video about that earlier. Let's go up here so you can see my beautiful face. Now... This is the decanter two. See how it comes up to just about there. Your water line will be right about there. Right about, I'd say, even with the curve a little bit. That's a different, I mean, there's a big difference where the curve is, but be somewhere in there. And it just complements this DSH so much. So let's try the DSH on the, so that's DSH on decanter two. One of my favorite setups, probably my favorite setup. I do like the decanter one too, but we're gonna see the DSH on it as well. All right, let's do this for you. So keep an eye on that, All right? Now, let's put this here. Can you see the bottom of that there? All right, so it's higher because of that inch and a half height difference. And also the shape, obviously the shape, not just the height. So I like this a little better. Can't put it with a Regal, can put this with a Regal a lot of other hookahs. So there you go. Someone was asking what the difference on these two uh, decanter series are. And there you have it. So I'm back here. A couple words about what? Hookah Expo Worldwide. What are we doing with that? What are we gonna do? I don't know yet. Still a little early in the game. I think we got a date. By the way, all right, forget that. We'll get back to Hookah Expo Worldwide a little bit later in another video. I need some coal on this. The coal output is a little, my coals are pretty much out. If you wanna match your Russian hookah with a great handle, I mean, you get handles with say DSH or uh, Pharaohs, but they're about this long instead, and they're not as thick. And not only that, the walls are not as thick. And this is made in the U.S. And uh, we do have another version coming out because we're almost done with these. Let's see, this is uh, June 4th right now. I would predict they'll be out before the end of the month. Just in time for the next new version. Are you ready for that? I am. I'm going to go light some coals. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon.